Okay, what do we got on social media, Pizza okay. Pizza? Okay, someone took something from the store and no charges filed, no police involved. That happened back almost 20 years ago. Is this going to affect applying for citizenship, citizenship now? No. My biometric is next week. Does the UCIS need to know about this or do they already know? They're the ones who scheduled it. They know. As an LPR, do I have to file the travel document form that just came out from USCIS if I need to travel outside the country for one month? No, you have a green card. You travel with your green card. The only time you need a re-entry permit is if you plan on staying out for more than six months. Of the if a U.S. citizen's stepdad files for a stepson who's 18 years old, how long will the process take? About a year and a half. My father's a green card holder. How much time will it take if my father petitions for me? I'm single, above 20, 21 years old. Six to seven years. For someone who has a VAWA case, but they only got the work permit so far, can they start filing for their kids back home? No, you got to wait to get approved on the VAWA, and then there would be derivative beneficiaries and... and follow to join you. Just submitted a citizenship application. How, how long does it take for them to process and schedule an interview? About a year. My wife earns $10,000 annually. How can she file residency for me? She can file for you, but you need an affidavit of support from somebody else. The self-sufficient form is very tough for immigrant. Is the question there for period as well or just the beneficiary? And if the sponsor need, does that form affect him too, like credit score? It's a very complicated form. We were just actually about at an attorney meeting about two weeks ago. It was complicated for us. So have a consultation before you do anything. A friend of mine would like to know how long it takes a green card holder to petition a daughter overseas under 21 years old. About a year and a half to two years. If my husband files for a citizenship by January 2020, how long until I, my I-130 is improved? Past two years, I've just had a green card. Well, if you've had a green card, you don't need an I-130. My sister's husband's in prison. She had an interview a week ago. She was accompanied by a lawyer and they closed her case. What can she do? And is her work permit still valid? I don't know what closed case means. They, they denied it? They closed, or... it seems like they closed her immigration case. Well, if they closed it, that means they're just waiting on the man to get out of jail and then you'd be able to renew it until such a time as he's out of jail. As long as they didn't terminate it, you can get your work permit and your advance parole. I filed a mandamus two months ago, but still now I haven't heard anything from them. What should I do? Find a lawyer who knows how to do a mandamus. You should have heard. My CR1, I-130, NOA1 had a November 2018 priority date, but still no updates. What should My I do? My conditional resident I-130 notice of action was filed on... November 19th, 2018. Okay, so you haven't been, you waited about one year now. Uh, if you are in the country, you should have filed an adjustment. If you're out of the country, you're at that one year mark, comes talk to us and perhaps you want to file a mandamus at that point. Brad, I see at NBC website that the public charge is not in effect. They're still working on the form. Is there any lawsuit against it for consulates and embassy? No, the only uh, lawsuit is with adjustments, but for abroad, it's new forms. DNA requested for a child, I-130 plus other evidence. Do I send the requested evidence when compiled or wait on the DNA? Uh, do the DNA, that's gonna be done separately you're going to write an affidavit. I did the DNA with whatever receipts you have from doing the DNA. You're going to do it through authorized uh, company that's authorized by immigration to do it. So the DNA results are going to go straight to immigration. You're not even going to see them at first. And then whatever else needs to be done needs to be done. So you would give an affidavit. I did the DNA at this company, which is authorized by uh, USCIS uh, and on such and such date. And here's whatever my receipt information is. In addition, here's the additional documentation. So I did my I-130 interview and got approved. Now I'm going on another interview. Will we be asked the same questions about marriage to verify that it is bona fide? Yes. If your husband withdrew from your case on the day we went in and I will be getting a divorce, what should I do next? Fall in love again. Okay. <laughs> and in regard to her immigration case? Your husband withdrew the case. We go back to what I said before. And this goes to everybody. If you are married, to a US citizen and you did not get a two year green card, everybody's in the same boat. You got three options. Figure out how to get back together with your spouse, get divorced and fall in love with somebody else, or file an abuse case. Those are your, that's everybody's three options. Came on B1, B2, got six months stay. After 90 days, can, am I able to change my status to F1? I need advice from you, the man. Thank you. Say that again. Came on B1, B2, got six months stay. After 90 days, can I change my status to F1? Need yes. advice from you, yes. the man. The first 90 days you do nothing, then you can make your applications, including whether you want to change to a student visa, you want to adjust your status, but the first 90 days on a tourist visa, you're a tourist. 
asking for someone, they got their RFE, I-485, joint sponsor must send in complete federal income tax return when submitted to IRS for the most recent tax year, what must they send in? Exactly what they said, the complete tax return. Okay. I mean, you've just read it, what so they need to send in. Okay. So they need to know from the king, are, yes. okay. are they correct? Okay. Uh, my I-130 interview was approved after the interview. Now I'm going to another interview based on I-485. What will be different about this interview? Well, if your I-485 was already approved, you shouldn't be getting a second interview. So guess what? Your first interview wasn't approved. So either they don't believe it's a real marriage or you have some inadmissibility issues. I don't know about your case, but you are not approved if you're going back for a second interview. It's a bummer. Okay. Bummer. Another quick question. When yes. USCIS sends a letter of appointment for the interview regarding AOS, how long upfront time frame will, it, will I have before the interview? About two to three weeks. If a petitioner is a student and doesn't file taxes because they don't meet the requirement, should they write a letter stating why or get a letter from the IRS stating the reason? No, you don't file a tax return because you haven't earned any income, then just say I'm not required to file a tax return, but guess what? You need an affidavit of support from a second person. Okay, now this one may need your Facebook uh, translator okay. abilities. Mm -hmm. I was deported from USA without criminal. Do I need a law? I have a 237A1B. I don't know, I have 10 years ban. Uh, if you overstayed by more than a year, you have a 10 year ban. You were obviously deported because you were out of status, despite the fact that you were, don't have a criminal record. You would need a 212 waiver to return after a prior deportation. Okay. My lawyer said he sent in the application, but I haven't heard anything from him or gotten anything in the mail to prove that the application was sent in. Is, am I being scammed out of my money, or is this normal for applicants to wait this long for some sort of confirmation? Well, how long are they waiting? Does not say. Uh, well, you have every right to go to your lawyer's office and ask for proof that it was filed. The lawyer should have her, you know, sort of sent it certified mail or some proof that it was filed or a canceled check or something. Okay. Could you explain and elaborate a bit more on how the public charge bill affects people outside of the U.S.? Yes, they are giving a point system, uh, and you have to show if you're earning more than, your petitioner is earning more than $64,000 a year for a family of four, that's a very high positive point system, you should be okay. If it's less than that, then they look at other, other variables to determine whether you will be self-sufficient. Um, if you are, your petitioner was on any sort of government assistance, including Section 8, that's a big negative. There's a lot of positive, there's a lot of negative. As a matter of fact, what we should do maybe tomorrow is rerun. I had discussed it in detail, mm -hmm. uh, and it was about eight, nine-minute discussion. I'd be happy to run it again tomorrow, Absolutely. so watch tomorrow. We'll, we could also we'll, throw we'll it up it. on Instagram, yes. a special, mm -hmm. special preview yes. of that as well. Okay, next question. I'm a lawful F1 student in Missouri. My I-20 expires in 2023. It's in U.S. for more than five years, visa has expired, passport is valid. I have a printed I-94. Asking for valid U.S. visa and I-94 to renew my driver's license. Are those enough? Those aren't valid. You overstayed your time, didn't you? Yes. Those are not valid. Okay. My case has been out of normal processing time for two and a half years now. I want to withdraw my case and refile it, but I'm hesitant to withdraw. What should I do? File a mandamus. Don't withdraw it because then you're starting from scratch. I don't even know what case it is. Brad, I need your help very badly. Quick question. Petitioner got kicked out by my petitioner because I don't want to work for them. If I work for them, they don't want to pay me and they abuse me. What should I do? If you're being abused by a petitioner that you're working for, then that's a criminal act, servitude, indentured servitude, perhaps slavery, who knows what they're doing. Can, how bad can a class C misdemeanor, possession of drug paraphernalia, mess, mess up your immigration record? Well, it certainly doesn't help the immigration record, the drug paraphernalia. Drug paraphernalia, not a good thing. I applied for VAWA and I-45 two years ago. I allowed my combo card to expire almost a year, just reapplied. If approved, will I have problems coming back into the country? And you have a combo card? No, mm -hmm. it sounds like your adjustment was probably denied. You've been out of the country for more than two years. You're gonna have a big problem coming back. <laughs>